quickly, 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 it's a scimitable. One that we don't actually get to see very often. Well, they're around. They're definitely here all the time. But they're so difficult to spot and to put on camera. If you thought finding green wood hoopoos, which are gregarious and lives in, live in groups, so normally there's more than one of them, and they look ex almost exactly the same as the scimitable, try finding one and keeping it on screen. Gert, you are doing the most amazing job because it's not an easy bird, um, it, like I said, to keep on screen. But very cool, though, don't you think? amazing now it doesn't look like much because it is in the shadows but it's actually a beautiful blue color quite similar to the colors that you see on starlings but it doesn't quite have that sort of green magenta sheen not green and magenta those are two completely different colors what is wrong with me today goodness gracious i think i need to go back home and press the reset button anyways <laughs> <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about and it looks like it is very hungry it's looking for something to eat now it's using that long bill and sticking it into the little holes I'm sure there'll be ants and termites and things that it'll be going after and they've got amazing beaks uh, the scimitables they really are lovely birds and I'm glad we've got to see one I haven't actually seen one in a very 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 long time they're not a particularly big bird. Only them and the wood hoopoos are about the length of your ruler, maybe just slightly uh, less than that. They're quite nimble, the way that it's moving so quickly, or well, so quickly with its head and its beak, looking for things to eat. It's amazing, their agility. Now, Dina, you've said that they've got really nice tail feathers. They do, and I think those tail feathers will be helping quite a bit in the balancing of that bird but it'll be looking oh it's just oh there we go we still got it so still around and and of course just probing like i said looking for different types of insects i'll even eat spiders and caterpillars though there's not many caterpillars around at the moment so i think it will be feeding on things like ants and egg and eggs anything else it can find that's living in those crevices maybe even wood borer beetles and their larvae it's got a long bill there's only a few species of birds that are able to probe that far into the crevices of trees which is quite nice and just as of course the green wood hoopoos do they also use nests and holes and and speaking of birds that use tree holes or natural cavities as their nest oh there we go got something it did have a little little treat on the end of its beak we are going to go down into the mulwati because i'm determined to find you black collared barbets this afternoon i've tried a couple of drives and i failed miserably but we're definitely going to get you a few more. It's still there. This is incredible. This is the longest scimitar sighting I think I've ever had in my entire life. When I've watched one probe around before on a uh, burbi and pecking around near the bark, but it was very quick. Well, I actually thought it was a long sighting, but now that we're sitting with this one, this is even better. You know what I think it's doing? It, it's on the silver cluster leaf. And it seems to be targeting the galls, or the galls, the galls. What's, I don't know what's wrong with my English today. Those sort of swollen parts on the uh, silver cluster leaf. And it's obviously trying to get any of the, the wasp larvae that's perhaps inside there. It's just hopped onto the next tree. It's now sitting on a marula that is bare. Also, still looking for lots and lots of insects. That is very impressive. Again, outstanding camera work. I don't think I would have been able to have followed this bird. I keep losing it with my eyes, so I don't know. <laughs> we keep finding it. It's amazing. It definitely helps when you're, I think, a, a wildlife cameraman to enjoy all the wildlife out here. And birds are a particularly difficult thing to go after. It looks like it's winning there. It looks like it's spending quite a bit of time in the same spot. And again, I thought I saw something white on the tip of its beak, so maybe there's some eggs from something there little insect eggs very interesting though we've had some great bird sightings remember that magpie shrike sighting we had with the grasshopper that was loads of fun as well i quite enjoyed that now as you look at that submittable i'm going to start scanning in the next trees to see who our next contender is going to be who wants to show itself there were lots of drongos and things moving around here but now they seem to have flown off <laughs> 